few hours of summer. So I thought I'd come back out here to the park one last time. See if there's an image or two that I can make for this zine project. Not a lot of pressure to, to find something today. I'm just kind of kind of stroll along and take it all in. And if something does jump out at me, I'll make a photograph. I'm revisiting a spot I was just last time I was here because I noticed this uh, vine crossing. It, last time I was here, the wind was blowing too much and it was the leaves weren't holding still enough. I think I'm going to be able to pull this shot off today. I just kind of like the uh, the obvious X. It's got a little more leaf around it. Feels like the season. Nice transition photo for the season. I'm a nice detail shot. And today the air is a little calmer, so I'm able to able to make the photograph. Whether it makes it in the zine, I don't know. But I definitely wanted to have another look at that and, and see if it was something that was going to work for the photograph. I've got to admit, I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit sad. This day's come. That means I'm at the end of this project. I think I'm gonna miss coming out here to this park with a, a purpose to make photographs. I always wish there was more time, and this. Uh, this <laughs> this project is no exception. I just wish I had a another month. Don't feel like I got out of here enough. And I think that's I knew that that would be the case. I knew that no matter how often I came out, I'd always feel like uh, I don't have enough photos or I don't have good enough photos. I could have drugged this on for a year, years. But I I I made this project have a end for a reason. I wanted to just have a project that was confined to a season. So what I got is what I got. It's a bit of a steep climb getting up here on this back side of the park. It's nice and quiet up here though. Not nearly as many sightseers. Kind of have it to myself. I don't anticipate this video being very long today. I don't really anticipate finding a lot of photographs. This last week I started laying out the zine and really it would be really nice to get one or two more shots. I'm kind of on that line where it could be a 32 page zine if I don't get something today to, to fill in one of the slots, then it might end up being a 28 page, which means I'd have to give something up. So I'd rather find a couple nice detail shots today or something that I can, can fit into the 32 page layout. There's not a lot of pressure today to find photos. I'm, the, since the last time I've been out here, things haven't changed that much. I'm not, uh, I don't, I'm not really missing a big change. So I, whatever I get is just going to be adding to what I, you know, adding to similar photographs. I'm purposely not re-photographing a bunch of the same types of photos. I've got plenty of forest shots, trees coming out, using the vertical element. I've got plenty of shots along the creek now. Now it's just kind of more uh, enjoying the day, just reflecting on this last this last uh, summer, 
reflecting on how this has probably been one of the most productive summers I've had in a long time when it comes to nature photography. And it, it, it's, not, it's a good time to start thinking, what do I want to do next? Speaking of the future, this is going to be my last zine for a while. This is my sixth zine, and I've decided to take a break. I've decided to, to uh, focus on other things in photography, and I'm not going to be working on any more zine projects in the foreseeable future. The thing about zines is, for me, they're, uh, they're really not a money-making uh, venture. <laughs> I make no money when I make zines. I don't even break even. I, they all, everyone I've done usually cost me money or I might come close to breaking even. But I do them because I love them. I do them because I want to see my images in print and I can share them that way. So for me it's been worth the, uh, the effort and the cost to put these zines together. But there are some things that I need to focus on in the future that that uh, um, I'm kind of excited about. And I, I won't get into a lot of that today. I'm just going to be putting more of my efforts into the print, the photographic print, and coming up with projects that are based around that. Maybe I do a series of prints, I'll do a collection of prints. And like I said, I, I don't want to go into that too much today. We'll, we'll talk about that more in the future. But I'm pretty excited about where, where I'm going with uh, my photography. So that's another reason today is kind of bittersweet, because this is probably going to be my last zine project for quite a while. So I'm, uh, I'm just kind of taking it all in today. I'm just kind of just enjoy being out in nature. This is just a nice day, a nice way to end this summer long project. I'm not even sure why this scene strikes me as a photograph. I just like the way this, this uh, vine maple arches into the frame across these vertical elements in the background. I'm going to make some photographs here because when something kind of grabs your uh, attention, sometimes it's good to listen to that voice and take the photograph. I doubt this photograph will make it in the zine, but I really do like how the trail kind of cuts through the foliage. And then we've got this tree that's fallen across the trail. The bummer is, with my 20, there's a little bit too much sky. Yeah. I don't know how distracting that's going to be. I'll have to kind of look at it when I uh, edit it, see if it's too distracting. And it might be something I use for something else. This kind of struck me as an uh, interesting photograph. I might try one with my 50. But then with my 50, I've got to get back quite a ways. really need about 35 right now. <laughs> you always need another focal length. 35 would be perfect right now. That'll probably be my next lens. I'm looking at a uh, 35 F2, one of the D lenses from Nikon. An older lens, but it's supposed to be pretty good. There are times where the jump between 20 and 50 is there's just too much of a jump. I'm not a real big zoom lens person. I mean, it'd probably make more sense just to buy a, a wide angle zoom. But I really like working with primes. And all I really need is a 35 millimeter to kind of fit in between. We'll see. This won't be the last video in this making a zine series because I'm still going to have to do a, uh, 
a reveal, show how the project turned out. So we've still got one more to do. So all that's left to do now is just write an introduction. And if there's a couple shots from this outing, add those in and strip it off to the printer. So I'm hoping I can get that done within the next week. And we'll uh, have something to show you hopefully in about a month or sooner. <laughs> This channel's five year anniversary is coming up next month. Can't believe it's, I've had this channel that long. So I'll be putting together a little five year retrospective of where we've been on this channel. That'll be a upcoming video. I wanna keep an eye out for that. Well, I'm almost back to the car. This was a, a great way to end this zine project. Just a nice relaxing day walking through the park. Don't know what I've got for photos today. Probably not a whole lot, but that's all right. Today was just about saying goodbye. So I'm gonna end today's video right here. Till next time, thanks for coming along for the ride.